Hey, today I'm going to talk about per diem. This is also one of the confusing terms that recruiter face now and then. What is per diem? Per diem is a expenses coverage for those candidates who go out and work in a client location on site from their home location and uh, who travel in the weekends and this is not applicable for the people who work on remote basis or we call telecommute basis or for them who stay locally or those who relocate to the client location there are some guidelines for this let's say those candidates who go out and stay at client location for work purpose and those who are uh, away from home for more than 12 hours and uh, the client location is more than 50 miles away and uh, that is where the candidate is going to get three-fourth of the per diem we don't have to remember each and everything of these uh, minor details as long as we understand how per diem works and how it affects somebody's pay and those who travel uh, below 50 miles or who stay less than 12 hours out uh, from their home won't be eligible for per diem what would be covered in per diem since it is related to a travel that is related to work again so someone has to travel from their home base to the client location and uh, they have to take care of the lodging their food beverages and other incidentals and this is for those people who would be working at the client location for the five days and in the weekends they go back their home per diem is a fixed amount and it differs uh, state to state and uh, it stay fixed irrespective of the candidate whatever the spend is the candidate has to keep the receipts properly of, of, of the expenses so that he or she is responsible for filing taxes uh, on this so they have to keep these uh, documented and which would be necessary for them when they will be filing their taxes end of the year who will be eligible which uh, uh, visas will be eligible to get this per diem is US citizens green card holders and EADs simply who would be working on your W2 on your company's W2 they will be eligible to opt for this per diem uh, process sometimes the companies pay the per diem and uh, so often the client pays the per diem according to the severity or the difficulties of the requirement how does it work you might hear candidates asking i need certain amount plus per diem correct so what does that mean the candidate would like to show their expenses and doesn't want that expenses whatever incurred in their lodging boarding travel shouldn't be taxed and how does it work when it is said certain amount inclusive per diem let's uh, assume hundred dollars is the pay rate on w2 basis and someone is working in atlanta georgia and that person is traveling from florida so since it is a different state and the candidate wanted to travel in the weekends how does it work so in atlanta a per diem rate is around 150 to 159 so let's take it is a it is 150 per diem per day so the cal the calculation goes like this 150 dollars divided by eight because it's a eight hours so it comes around uh, yeah it comes 19 dollars w2 rate pay rate including per diem how it works hundred dollars minus 19 dollars the w2 pay rate will be 81 so how you will be presenting so the hourly rate when you send your rate confirmation should be 81 plus 150 per diem 
All right. So the taxes will be on $81 if the candidate is not opting for any benefits. And the $150 would be the expenses that he or she has to show their receipts and justify their expenses there. Now go back and understand how it goes when client offers per diem. So how does it look like? It will look $100 pay rate on W2 plus $150 per diem. It means client is going to pay the per diem and they'll show their taxes there. So candidate would be paying taxes on the $100 that is paid if there is no uh, benefits has been purchased from your company. All right. So here, as I have said, per diem includes food, beverage, uh, travel expenses. Travel is something uh, it will be only only be billed once. All right. When the candidate uh, from the uh, home base to travel into the client location once and stays for five days and one, then he travels back home. So these two will come under this per diem and it includes uh, phone calls, tips, tips to the bearer, tips to someone, the porter and uh, uh, tips to the hotel stewards or you say laundry and uh, phone calls only official phone calls that should be some around 10 minutes maximum sort of these are the expenses will be covered in per diem i hope you got some clarity now and if you may have any questions please feel free to ask me or you may check online about this information about the state by state per diem rates in gsa portal uh, you may type www.gsa.gov and you go to the travel on the top you will see uh, everything related to the government rate state by state on per diem how much it is paid daily a gsa is a general uh, services administration and the rates will be fixed by the government only and uh, anyone who is working on if on uh, positions that is on any states you can use that as a references and while sharing uh, with your candidate thanks for watching this is suman pachigula on a mission to impact 5 million lives bye bye